Hey everyone, today we have a quick video, and that is going to be on the SMG Stampede that I'm holding in my hands. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to quickly jump into a firing test. We're going to empty a drum inside, and then we're going to go outside and fire off a 18 round clip. I'm going to be using my white modified streamlined darts. And uh, after that we're going to jump into how it was modded, what's been all been done, the paint job, etc. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in a second. Now, one of the most noticeable things about this stampede is that it has been cut down drastically in both these areas. Now, what that does is it lengthens the overall, let's see, let me grab one real quick, overall goofy barrel that was originally here that actually served no purpose besides adding tactical rails, which we don't need. So, it cut it down. You can get more range out of it that way, and the darts won't be bouncing off the inside of the barrel if they happen to be a little bit off. Uh, the back, this was where the old battery pack was and uh, it was replaced with four truss fires in a small battery case which is velcroed in. It's got its own little safety switch as well here. And uh, that just lightens up the blaster a lot. This blaster is very light, very maneuverable. Uh, much more so than the Stampede with the 6D batteries. Whenever I used to hold one of those, like the back end would just want to like flop down. This one's very balanced over the handle, maybe even a little front heavy with a clip in it. Um, the clip drop is, works very nicely. I left uh, most of the internal pieces unpainted uh, just because it functions better that way. Uh, thumb safety is still here. Clip drop is uh, very, very smooth. Uh, got two functioning tactical rails. Uh, the other one's gone up here, and it does have the top rail as well. Uh, some really nice paint work, probably some of the best I've ever done on an in-strike blaster. And the rate of fire is pretty ludicrous on this, as you know. I mean, that's pretty pretty fast and uh, it's got the orange mod works I believe five kilogram stampede spring in it I'm not totally sure and it's running about 16.4 volts on the truss fires but uh, like I said the paint job is definitely the most standout on this blaster it's a uh, red vinyl dye actually it's black vinyl dye three coats of that three coats of red vinyl dye then a coat of banner red from Krylon uh, then it's all the rest of it's been hand painted with a uh, Citadel hand paint. Uh, the original one was Chaos Black, I believe. Uh, the gold detailing was actually done in an enamel, Tester's Gold enamel. And then the uh, silver was another Citadel paint, uh, Mithril Silver, I believe. But um, overall, blaster is very nice, very small, very compact, very good stock dart blaster. I'm not very much into stock guns, and uh, definitely one of the nicer ones I've ever done. Uh, some, one thing about the uh, externals is I've covered all the open spaces with styrene. Now, the styrene is uh, very flat, of course, and it was sanded to match the curves of the blaster. Like here, it looks like a stock blaster cut line, but this is all cut back and sanded, and the stock has been all blocked off. This is made from the original stock parts, and it all came out very good, and uh, I'm just overall very happy with it. Uh, this is a commission blaster, so this is going to be going out very soon. I've still got to make, I believe, a little laser attachment for it because he wanted one. But uh, I'm pretty happy with this, guys. If you have anything you want to know about it, or if you would like to see kind of how it built up, you can go check out the Facebook page. And uh, I'll have another video for you guys probably in the next week. And I will talk to you guys later.